try to leave as soon as possible. Um, so I, all I did was put on this uh, cap and then what else did I do? I think I, I grabbed my ticket. I almost forgot it. And so now I'm headed there. I might be a little bit late, but I'm gonna try to get there on time. today. For those who are not familiar, I am Carmen Phillips, matron of the Miami matron. matron, sorry. For those who are not familiar, I am Carmen Phillips. Sorry, I, matron, matron? Mm -hmm. For those who are not familiar, I am Carmen Phillips, matron of the Miami Branch Black Cross. This is Sharon Teeley, our secretary. And next to her is Mary Roberts, our head of nurse. Let's begin tonight's discussion. So, oh. and next to her. And next to her is Mary Roberts, our head nurse. Let's begin tonight's discussion on the topic of education. We must all learn to thoroughly read and write. Raise your hand if you can. Raise your hand if you can do neither. Raise your hand if you can do neither of these. Raise your, raise your hand if you can do neither of those things. It is impossible to help explain healthy practices to the community and guide them through all of the leaflets we created as reminders for them if we don't know how to read it ourselves. Now- Okay, let's have more passion in your voice right okay. now because she's realizing she's, that if, how can I talk to you about what you need to do if you don't know how to read? So it's more like a, it's impossible to help explain healthy practices to the community mm -hmm. and guide them through all of the leaflets we've created for, as reminders for them, if we don't know how to read ourselves. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. It is impossible to help explain healthy practices to the community and guide them through all of the leaflets we've created as reminders for them if we don't know how to read it ourselves. Now. There will be courses here three nights a week that will help those of you who aren't good readers and writers. Secondly, we've heard your concerns about the plumbing in Colored Town. The water can make you sick if you don't boil it first, so don't drink it until you've done so. Don't give it to your babies and don't give it to your babies and don't advise anyone else to do it either. It's not just that. It's not just that. What is one thing? What is the sickness? There are about 16 people sick last week, all living within walking distance from each other. They complain of pain and loose bowels. Is that the water? I don't think it is. We need better, more sanitary places to relieve ourselves. We're, talk we're talking to the city officials and we hope they will soon help to bring plumbing to Colored Town. Until then, the people there are in such proximity to each other that you must advise them to keep their hands and bodies as clean as possible, especially the children who touch their stool, especially the children who touch their stool sometimes without knowing it, before putting anything near, before putting anything near their mouths. If there are no other, if there are no other concerns, we will end tonight's meeting. Good evening. My name is Laura Kofi. It's good to have you. How? It's good to have you. How long will you? Take your time. It's good to have you. How long will you be here for? What's your cause? 
just this week, and then I'll travel back to North Florida. Before my time here expires, I will be speaking in Liberty Hall nightly. Will you be in attendance? <clears throat> Are you ready to set out to the hotel? It's best we leave here before late. Hello, Alan. Nothing wrong with speaking, right? Good evening, Miss Carmen. So you're taking care of Miss Laura here, I see. As best I can. Let's go. I know you'll take good care of her. That's what you do best. Only privileged women get to experience it. Consider yourself lucky, Miss Laura. Get home. Get her home. Get her home. <laughs> Get her home. <laughs> Jeez, you don't look like this so many things. So in scene two, they're at a club. Um, it's a fundraiser that you know they have live jazz and everything. So, um, uh, Laura, being a spiritual woman, that she is it's uncomfortable in that environment because. People are dancing and they're collecting money. Um, elevate your voices as though you're in a club because if you're in a club where there there are trumpets playing, it's like we don't want to hear this over here. It's like, hey, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go out. To, so it, it seems weird sitting in this environment, but it's gonna make sense um, in post production. So um, let's not use our inside voices. <laughs> There are a few people you should meet. So, what is the benefit of this occasion? We raise money for our efforts, and we show the community a good time while we do it. And there's been progress? We're still shifting some mindsets that are stuck in the old slave ways, but we're raising the money to fund the cause. You're raising the money to keep them enslaved. Slaves. Here, these people are no freer than the day the trumpet sounded to release them. And this program is profiting and this program is profiting from their temporary escape from their issues. Prayer meetings, consecration, those are the tools that will destroy the damage created in their masters' houses. And it will propel a powerful army of black men and women to produce and to grow, not dance. Why celebrate when you have yet to win? If you'd like to go, Miss Laurel, I don't mind taking you home. I think I've seen my share, if you don't mind. Let's try and go back. Let's not emphasize Miss Laura. If you'd like to go, Miss Laura. If you'd like to go, Miss Laura, I don't mind taking you home. I think I've seen my share, if you don't mind. Hey there, Miss Laura, leaving soon? It's late. Hey there, Miss Laura, leaving soon? Or leaving, oh, I see it. Um, let's run, yes. hey there, Miss Laura, together. Hey there. What? Okay. Hey there, Miss Laura. Because the, oh, you naturally hey there, Miss Laura. Yeah, because sometimes the pause, the a comma means a pause, but in this yeah. case, it's just grammatically correct. It's okay. written because you have to have a comma before the name. Oh, <laughs> so just let it run together. Okay. Hey there, Miss Laura. Leaving so. Uh, hey, th hey there, Miss Laura. Leaving so soon? It's late, and we must be going. We? If I weren't mistaken. Okay. We. Oh, Meg. We. We. We? If I weren't mistaken, I would say you two are an item. <laughs> well, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. Wait, wait, wait. I'll edit it out. If I were mistaken, I would say you two are an item. <laughs> Well, it's so, okay. you know, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like there, it doesn't even have to be like a, a like a, a consonant sound. You can just like an air. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We, if I were mistaken, I would say you two are an item. <laughs> well, is it, well, is it, ooh, yeah. Well, is it, so? It is not. Well, be careful. The ladies around here like to call this one slick. Yeah, I guess. The ladies around here like to call this one slick. Mm -hmm. Well, well, be careful. The ladies around here like to call this one slick. 
That's enough for me. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. Be careful. Yeah, I don't know. The lady around here like to call this one slick. Like, yeah. Trying to help you out, you sister. Like, hey, sister. Hey, the lady around here like to call this one slick. Okay. Yeah. Well, be careful. The ladies around here like to call this one slick. That's enough, Carmen. Alan interfere. Yeah, sorry. It was. It should have because remember I copy and paste from the book, so you don't have to read out in the characters. That's enough, Carmen. Oh, okay. That's enough, Carmen. What? Just is that the right word? Okay. What? <laughs> what? Just some friendly conversation. You know. Sorry. What? Just some friendly conversation. I think it didn't sound right. What? What? Just some friendly conversation. Like it's like, yeah. I mean, it's friendly conversation. <laughs> what? Just some friendly conversation. You know, us women got to stick together. We hate to see the ruin of a beautiful spirit such as yours. Feel good about that? <laughs> huh? I know you feel good about that. Like you, you did. <sighs> Let me just read it out. <laughs> I'm just out of, I'm just out of it. Oh. Do you want to see it up like this? Is it big enough? Oh God, I want to see it too much. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not. What? Just some friendly conversation. You know, us women got to stick together. We hate to see the ruin of a beauty. We hate to see the ruin of a beautiful spirit such as yours. <laughs> 